It was just another normal day of walking on the streets of Manhattan. But this day was different. Because on this particular day, a particular sign particularly caught our protagonist's eye. And she thought. Hmm. I do be wanting bigger lips. So YOLO. And she walked in. The horrific lip injection. Um, it's beautiful, okay? My lips weren't looking plump, they weren't looking voluptuous enough. My sign on the wall says life is lived on the edge. I believe that you should do something that scares you every day. And so this is what I did. Okay, here are the before and after pictures. You might not be able to see a big distinct difference, but trust me, there is, okay? You're just gonna have to trust me on this. I did get lip fillers. I have no words. So that is my lip filler reveal. No, my lip fillers did not fail. Okay, it might look like it's a failed injection, but no. I meant for it to be this way. I wanted it to be this way. This is exactly the look that I'm going for. Someone please help me, I want to leave. I'm a bitch, I'm a boss. I'm a bitch and a boss, I'm a shine like us. As you can see, they look really good. I look like a brat stall and I'm loving it. Sorry, what did she just say? OMG, I know, right? This girl is so weird, we don't claim her. I have big, juicy, voluptuous, scrumptious, huge lips and I'm loving that. No, I did not get my lips done. This is the result of accidentally eating nuts when you're allergic to nuts. Yeah, so my lips are swollen. In my defense, I didn't even know there was nuts in it, so. But this happened like five to 10 minutes ago. Yeah, this is the aftermath. <laughs> what do I do? You know, this is probably what it feels like to have lip fillers and um, I'm kind of just enjoying it before it goes away. Hopefully it does go away. If not, I will never be going out in public again. I will never be taking off my mask again. But yeah, I just thought, you know, if I'm suffering, might as well clickbait you guys. Look at it. Beauty at its finest. I don't know what I'm supposed to do now. Um... Warning. She's gonna be doing this a lot in this video. Ignore the redness on my face. I'm currently going through an allergic reaction. How bad is it? Oh, it's pretty bad. Ooh. Ooh. First time going outside with my new lips. How do I feel? Um, magnificent. Someone is playing really bad flute. You suck! Okay, they really need to shut up because they're ruining my vibe. Why does this actually kind of make me look better? Girl, no. Let's do a little dance. I feel like dancing. Myself. Who knew having big lips could make you feel so confident? That was a joke. She actually feels like doo doo. This is a sign for you to get lip fillers. For legal reasons, that's a joke. lip fillers look at my lip fillers no one cares bye this is awesome this is the best day of my life look at my lips anyone want to kiss me no oh my god i look so ugh. okay i have a legitimate reason for looking like trash today so it's been like half an hour and it's still not going down i guess this will just be permanent i don't know how i feel about that Okay, well, while I still have these lips, I might as well research a bit about them. So, I'm going to be looking at lip injection fillers gone wrong. Because that's practically what happened to me. This would be fun. Dang, Donatella. Donatella once said, Creativity comes from a conflict of ideas, and this cannot be more true with regards to her plastic surgery failures. 
No comment, because we're trying to be nice here. Give me a second. Is this me, or is it getting kind of hard to breathe? That's not a good sign. I'm alive. Beauty and the Beast. Jocelyn Windelstein is known as the line woman of New York thanks to over a dozen plastic surgeries in an attempt to win her husband back. What a bleep. Michelle Romanini puts the man in Romanini. <laughs> That's so mean. The Italian socialite was once considered one of the most beautiful women in Italy, but first she went under the knife. Now Michelle is on the top of almost every botched plastic surgery list, thanks to multiple lip collagen injections that made her lips look like two Olive Garden breadsticks sandwiched together. Oh my god. Like her face do be kind of scary though. Excuse me, Beach, do you want to fight? I'm sorry, but I'm scared. Renee's natural facial expression always looked like she just finished sucking on a lemon, but plastic surgery only made things worse. Bruh, these are ruthless. That's enough. Okay, well, I'll just give you guys like hourly updates on um, how my face is doing. Farewell. Okay, folks, we have the one shot of tequila. Let's do this. Cheers. Oh, it smells horrible. I don't want to drink this. I need some music to hype me up. Just to show the city what it takes to be alive for it. Can't get me on the line, so they hit me at the drive for it. Yeah, that tasted pretty bad, but I've had worse. All done. Okay, I do a little update. They do look like they're going down. They definitely feel like they're less swollen, so that's good. Bye! Hi guys, it has now been like two days since my lip injection failure. As you can see here, my lips are back to normal. There is no more enlargement, so. A moment of silence. Rest in peace, juicy thick lips. You will not be missed. Yeah, that's it. I'm gonna regret posting this. Am I gonna still do it? Yes, because I like to humiliate myself. And you want views. Yeah, that too. Okay, bye.